Welcome back to the shop and today we're working on this thing right here, the boat trailer. Last week when I was at work, I had my girlfriend put a coat of paint on it, orange paint, she got one coat on it. We're going to come back through and put a second coat on it just to give it a little bit extra coverage. Also, the axle, you can see it right here. We have a problem with that axle. I will show you what the problem is and how we're going to fix it. Do you like t-shirts? Because I got t-shirts. There's two links in the description box below that will take you to a page where you can buy t-shirts like the one I'm wearing. All the money that I make from these t-shirts go back into the channel. So go click those links, buy some t-shirts, and help my channel out. Okay guys, so I got my tire just sitting on the trailer, and the trailer actually looks red from this angle, but it's actually orange, but it looks pretty cool red. But anyways, and these are my tires I got. I got two of these tires, bought them brand new, like I said, they're just sitting on there. If we go to the inside, we can see the problem we got. You can see the gap in there, and that is about half of an inch. Come to the back. You can see the tire is actually against the bolts. Right there. And it's not even in the whole way. It still has to go in about a sixteenth of an inch. So, that is our problem. We ordered the wrong axle. The axle is not near wide enough. And it's the same thing on the other side. I don't want a tire over there. But you can see how close the um, hub face is to the frame. So basically, we need to widen this axle. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to widen the axle. On this trailer, this is going to be a really easy fix on how to widen this axle. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. You can see right there, all I did was went on northern.com and ordered the right axle. If we come to the outside, we can see we're going to gain about two and a half inches on each side. So my hub face is here. My hub face is going to move about to where that lug nut is. And it's going to do the same thing. On the other side here, my hub face is here right now. It's going to move about to there. That's going to give us about two and a half to two and three quarter inches on each side, which is going to put us right where we need to be. Like I said, I went on to northerntool.com and just ordered the right axle, the one I showed ordered to begin with, and that's how we're going to fix this. So the difference is on this axle here. Or on that axle there, the hub face is 54 inches. On this axle here, the hub face is 59 and a half. And the spring center on this one is 43 to 44 inches, or 43 to 49 inches. And I think on that one, it's like was 38 to 44 inches. So this one is definitely wider by about, about four and a half inches, something like that. So it's not a whole lot wider, but it's going to be wide enough to work on my boat trailer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing untaped and we got to go pull uh, eight nuts off of that one there. Yank that axle up, put this axle in, center it up, bolt it back down and then put the hubs on. We'll be ready to put wheels on this thing and roll it out of my garage.
So the axle is installed, bolted down, and I also got the hub on, got it all greased up, ready to rock and roll. Other side, same way, we're ready to put some tires on this thing, get it bolted down and get this thing moved out of here. Okay hey guys, so the tires are on. I got all the lug nuts on. I torqued them down to 75 foot pounds. And everything is good to go with this trailer. And this thing is about done too. It's looking pretty good. The only thing left we gotta do is we gotta put some fenders on this thing, put some lights on this thing, and then over here in the corner, uh, those green things there, them are the bunks for where the boat's gonna ride at. Put those things back on, and this trailer, it's pretty much good to go. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you like videos like this, don't forget to go into the comment section and tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd have done different on this build. Um, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Don't forget about the links in the description for my t-shirts and the links in the description to Amazon. Like this video, share this video, all the awesome stuff you guys always do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Do you like t-shirts? Because I got t-shirts. There's two links in the description box below that'll take you to a page where you can buy t-shirts like the one I'm wearing. All the money that I make from these t-shirts go back into the channel. So go click those links, buy some t-shirts, and help my channel out.